peace be to you. By invoking the United States fair use policy, I would like to play the video clip on the answer of Dr. Zakir Naik responding to the question, how is Muhammad born as compared to the miraculous birth of Jesus Christ? And I will comment about the criterion to determine who was greater between Adam and Jesus Christ of the Quran. Please go ahead. Good evening, doctor. My name is Rose, telephone operator. As a Christian, I believe that Jesus was created by God, our God, our Creator, and was born through miracle. One of my friends, he is a Muslim, and he asked me, he requested me to read the Holy Quran, and I got interest of it. And I found out when I read it that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. And my question is, how Muhammad he was born? Is it through miracle also? She starts a very good question. She says that the Christian, she's a telephone operator, and she knows that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was created by God. Perfectly right. He was born miraculously by the help of God. Perfectly right. When she read the Quran, she came to know that Muhammad is the messenger of God. She asked me, How was Muhammad born? Sister Muhammad was born naturally. He had a mother and father. He was born naturally. He was not born miraculously. But if someone tries to say that because Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, had no father, therefore he's Almighty God, if this is the understanding that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, had a mother and father, Jesus Christ had a mother but no father. So if that makes him a god, then the reply is given in Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse 59. The similitude of Jesus in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is like Adam. He was created from dust and said, be and it was. If you say that Jesus is God because he has no father, then Adam, peace be upon him, is a greater God. He had no mother and no father. I know it's clear from yes, Adam was a greater God in the Quran because all angels were commanded by Allah to prostrate before him, whereas there is no mention of all angels were commanded to prostrate before Jesus Christ. Why the discrepancy on the treatment of Allah between Adam and Jesus Christ? But Quran Al-Imran 3 verse 59 was spoken by Muhammad since nowhere Allah proves himself to be alive and speaking in the Quran to Muhammad directly. Nowhere in the Quran, Allah said to Muhammad directly, I am Allah or worship me. This alone proves that someone put words into the mouth of Allah rather than he is speaking by himself to Muhammad. Unless a Muslim can prove to me that Allah really speaks to Muhammad in the Quran, I shall state Muhammad said, not Allah said. So Muhammad said, the similitude of Jesus before Allah is as that of Adam. He created him from dust, then said to him, be. And he was. Unquote Quran Al-Imran 3 verse 59. But the historical background of Al-Imran 3 verse 59 is a conditional statement which is subject to the Mubahala challenge as stated in Quran Al-Imran 3 verse 61. The Shia tradition says that the event took place in the 10th year of Hydra which is 632 AD. According to Arabs tradition, the proposer of the Mubahala challenge or imprecation challenge is to invoke Allah to curse the liar or liars so that the liars will be punished by God with misfortune, sickness and even death. The waiting period for the Mubahala curse to take effect is traditionally one year from the date of utterance. Unfortunately Muhammad reportedly died within 80 days after speaking Quran Al-Imran 3 verse 59. So how could Muslims took the words of Muhammad as the truth when he died within one year? Where did Angel Gabriel said to Muhammad directly, Peace be to Muhammad, I am Gabriel son by Allah? Quran 20 verse 14 is often quoted by Muslims to prove that Allah said, I am Allah. But it was a narrative of an Arabic storyteller who retold the story of Moses based on Quran 20 verse 9. Has the story of Moses reached thee? Unquote. If that is, the criterion of Allah speaking to Moses, then where is the same criterion of Allah speaking to Muhammad, I am Allah? 
based on Quran Sabah 34 verse 44 to 45, Al Ghazaz 28 verse 46, As Sajda 32 verse 2 to 3 and Hud 11 verse 49, there was no prophet and no scriptures unto the forefathers of Muhammad prior to him to build the Kabiyya in Mecca for worship of Allah. So the Kabiyya was built for idolatry and the word Allah was a pagan god before Angel Gabriel spoke to Muhammad. But there is no evidence that Angel Gabriel met Muhammad since there is no salutation from Gabriel to him. Both Prophet Moses and Lord Jesus Christ did not prostrate towards the Qibla of the Kabiyya used by Muhammad. Muhammad turned his face to the Qibla dear to himself based on Quran al-Baqarah 2 verse 142 to 145 which Allah has not spoken since nowhere in the Quran Allah said to Muhammad directly, I am Allah your God. Yahweh said to Moses, I am Yahweh your God based on Leviticus 26 verse 1. Both the Hebrews and Christians have not prostrated towards the Qibla of Kaaba in Mecca. Islam is merely promoting Kaaba or idolatry which both Prophet Moses and Lord Jesus Christ had not defiled their souls with kibble or idolatry. Beware of Islam. Jesus Christ is the Lord. Islam is kibble or idolatry. Amen.